a teenage boy in love with a Shinto priest. Ooh, yeah, we review. Hi, everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Bonds of Love, uh -oh, Bonds of Dreams, Bond of Love by Yaya Shakuragi. We shall read the back and delve into it and get into the nitty gritty. Irritated by his own carnal impulses, Rayomi rejects Ayo. But how will Ayo reject, react when he finds out Rayomi may have marriage arrangements in the work? And what will Rayomi do when another boy who looks just like Ayo appears on the scene? There's a lot more to come in this crazy series of a not so unrequented love. This is rated M for Mature. It's published by Sublime and Asakura Comics CLDX. Now, I'm going to move it to this side. Sorry, the lighting's really weird. It's mildly rainy here in my town, so it's just going to be funky weather, funky lighting. Um, now, this opens up with a nice little colored pretty print, which I actually really like this one. It's very cute, very innocent, makes me very happy. Art style is still the same. People are still definitely... It's that more modern anime style, that more modern manga style also. So everybody has that kind of very structured, definitely gender um, decisive drawing. Nobody looks like the opposite gender. Um, so it's not Shinanai in that respect. It's just very well, very prettily drawn. Plot wise... It picks up right where it left off with Io having a fever, and then we see Io trying to mount his Shinto priest. So this is the closest I will show you because I don't want to give too much away or have the video flagged, but it does talk and deal with that, and we discover that Ryoma, is that his name? Um, Ryomi, he does actually reciprocate the feelings of Io and is just not open or being honest with anyone about it. It's actually a really good plot point. It thickens and becomes a little weird towards the end. Like, a twin brother that magically appears that nobody really knew existed, along with the fact that there may be a detrimental thing happening to the romance between these people. I really liked this. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. The plot moved along really well. Everything was really bubbly and bouncy. Even my mother commented how fast I finished reading this, so I really, really enjoyed it. The art was very pretty to look at. So... I just liked it. I can't tell you it wasn't bad. I highly encourage you guys to check out this series and get it for your own collections. So yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. Give me a like, a favorite, subscribe, and share this with a friend who likes Yaoi, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. If you like what you see, hmm, then... Subscribe!